Is it, is, it hard, is it hard to be fresh if you don't have money or can you still pull it off? See, when I had no money, I still had sauce. Mm -hmm. See, if you don't got no sauce, then you, you, you're lost. Mm -hmm. But you can also get lost in the sauce. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back for another episode. We're back here in the shop and we're, again, working on the 500 horsepower B-Series build. Today, we're going to be doing a good old bow blast, right? Yes, sir. Bow blast and some cam seals. Yes, the last touch to to get that monster in the dyno. Yeah, we've actually been driving it around, like going to yeah, the store and a, stuff. A little breaking, so my 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 friend Brian don't mess up everything. Yeah, we wanted to make sure that it was nice and sound before we get on the dyno. Just kind of do a break in. So we've just been driving around, putzing around. Now it's time to uh, do some valve lash and That's get it going. Make sure everything is ready. So you can hit the dyno without features. Nice. I think he's eventually going to do the battery relocate to the trunk, right? Yeah, the back seat. Back seat? Okay. Passenger side. Great. Same thing. Same. Same thing. No, no, not really. But anyways, so we're going to go ahead and dive into it. So we'll get the valve cover off, get the uh, spark plug wires out of the way, and we'll actually show you guys in depth exactly how to do valve lash on uh, a valve adjustment on your B-Series build. So let's get into it. Now we're gonna go ahead and get our cams out. Just because we're gonna change the cam seals. Yeah. Uh, if you're normally just doing a valve adjustment, you don't need to take uh, the cam gears off, um, but you do. I'm just doing it now because it's hard to do it when you take the timing belt out. Yes, it is. So you do it now. If you forget, so you. <laughs> it does. You can. It still can be done, but it makes it a lot more difficult. Yes. It's so. Not easy. Work smart, not hard. You can smell that uh, that race fuel in there. That that, that corn juice. Dude, I love the smell. I don't know if you're supposed to like the smell of V85, yeah. but for some reason, I've always liked it. Yep, I love it too. <laughs> uh. But yeah, man, I got a, a lot of hopes for this car, man. Hopefully it makes nice some good deal. power. Yeah, he doesn't want to make any crazy power with it. He says he really just wants like 400. 400. So, And this honestly is good for 500. 500 probably like close to reliable. You know what I mean? As long as you're watching your stuff, you could definitely make 500. I hope my brother Brian can take care of it. It's really just taking care of it, man. Making sure you got oil pressure. You know what I mean? Sure. Having a wide band and oil pressure and making sure you ain't overheating. Help you a lot. A lot easier said than done, but. Also, just so you guys know, the super cool Del Sol that was in here. The motor blew up. Wah, wah, wah. And he's got cams. I always forget. He's got some scunt two cams in here. Sweet. Yeah, it's literally a deal hit. Yeah, this has got this has got everything. Springs, retainers, cam. What valves are in it? The stock valves? No, uh, flat valves. Oh, nice. Nice. So 
Right. All right, so we're gonna swap the cam seal real fast, get it all put back together, and then I'll show you guys how to do the valve lash. All right, if you noticed uh, when Brian went ahead and got started, the first thing he did uh, was removed uh, the tension on this bolt uh, while it already had the uh, timing belt on and everything. Reason being, if you don't and you go ahead and take the, the cam out, it makes it a lot more difficult. Uh, you can try to hold it and use a power tool to get it off, but it's, it's really a pain in the butt and you don't want to put this cam in a vise because that will really, really mess it up. So do make sure that you go ahead and uh, remove the tension from that bolt. If not, you'll learn it the hard way. So he's just going to go ahead and replace that uh, Yo, cam seal. Oh, wait, you want to make sure that you got the spring inside. So and when you put it in, so you try to like, you know, like play with it. This, you see the spring is still there, but we're good to go. That way it won't leak on you. Uh, if you do pinch it and you don't see that spring, uh, it'll start right when you go put it on. You'll go ahead and start it up and you'll see oil leaking down the side of the head. No fun. Then you got to go ahead and repeat the whole entire process. So we'll go ahead and get that. This one's already done. So we'll go ahead and get that one uh, finished and we'll just go ahead and swap them in there and move on forward. Okay, so we don't, with the seal, with the cam seals, I do the timing, but we don't record that. <clears throat> we do that a million times. <laughs> and a half. <laughs> yeah. So now we go ahead and I'm gonna show you guys how to to do the to do the valve latch. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. So do you want to tell them what to do first? I don't have the right, sure? I, don't, I don't have the right tool to do it. They sell a tool to do this, but they do. They do, but you can but definitely use it any. with a 10 millimeter and with a small screwdriver. Yeah. So what he's gonna go ahead and do first is just loosen them all up. And then after we loosen them, we're gonna go ahead and check our lashes and then adjust accordingly. Yes, sir. All right, so first step is obviously loosen them. Yeah. Then go ahead and grab your lashes and check. Do you wanna see, see something here? Come around, I wanna show you something. Go down here. You see the, the cam lead? Um, lobe. The cam lobe. So you want that lobe all the way up. Okay, you see? So all the way up, these ones. We wanna be working in this side right now. So I want this cam completely like. You don't no want any pressure, pressure on it. Or no pressure on it, yes. So let's go. So we're gonna go from cam specs. So they call for. Seven and eight. Seven on SO side, um, intake side, eight on SO side. So, what you wanna do is, we wanna go eight right here. So, you wanna be looking for the eight mil millimeter and the nine. You wanna be using both. Why? No, you not why. You want eight. So we're going eight, right? So let's see how it was. So right now you can see this thing go like, like go in and out easy. So right now you have way over more of nine. Go ahead and turn it down. So we're gonna be turning this thing down from this way. Eight. Now it's not. It's not going. So what you wanna do is you wanna be tightening the the bolt little by little. You wanna be sliding in and out, not too tight, no, not too loose. What you want to know is, you see how they go? You want it to barely fit through. Nice, right? Yeah, you don't want to grab. You don't want to be too loose. So you, want to you wanna know if you're right, you wanna go to nine. Nine can't go in. You see? This one go in, so it's still not right. Alright, so this side is all finished. Brian's gonna go ahead and turn the crank. That way we don't have any pressure on these valves. That way we can go ahead and adjust them to see where they're at.
All right, so Brian uh, went ahead and adjusted these. They didn't really need too much on that one like the first side did. And you just go ahead and repeat the process. Make sure you got the pressure off the spring, uh, off the, the valves. That way you can go ahead and adjust them. Uh, and then it is uh, nine in the front, eight in the back, correct? Eight in the front, seven in the back. Eight in the front, seven in the back, okay. I always forget it. So the exhaust is eight, and then the intake is gonna be seven. Um, obviously it's going to be different depending on what what uh, engine you need but that is uh, what you want to go ahead and do for a b-series build all right so we are complete everything is done um you said you're gonna do a compression test on it tomorrow just to make yeah, sure just to make sure everything is all right every single cylinder uh, send it home that'll be it um next time you see this car it should be the on the dyno so hopefully we get to be there to record it that was right to make it yeah, we're gonna try our best to be there, get this thing on the dyno. If not, you guys will have all the deets, and I'm sure he'll get some footage of it, but we'll, we'll probably be there. I'm sure we'll be there. But anyways, till next time, guys, go ahead and like, subscribe. We'll see you guys soon. Peace. If you don't got no sauce, then you, 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 you're lost. Mm -hmm. But you also get lost in the sauce.